Well, good morning, everybody. Thank you all for being here today, for choosing to worship with us. For those of you who are watching uh, online, thank you for being here as well. There's a lot of places you could be, and the fact that you are here with us is something we appreciate and, uh, and do not take for granted. So thank you uh, for making that choice today. Maybe this is your first Sunday here with us. Maybe you've been, uh, been our guest for a while. If you would like some more information about the church, maybe you've gotten to that point. Uh, there's a couple things you can do. In the pew in front of you, you'll see a guest card. You can fill that card out, and then as we leave service today, as you go out these middle doors, you'll see a, a basket for, tith for tithes and offerings. Just drop that in there, and uh, we'll follow up with phone call or email. And so that's the first thing you can do, or you can just send me an email, uh, John, J-O-H-N, at mycbcc.org, J-O-H-N, at my cbcc.org and uh, I can answer any questions that you might have about the church. Um, you'll notice in your bulletin if you grab one there's several uh, upcoming events I won't point all of them out you guys can see it um, upcoming um, trivia night and uh, women of faith and trunk or treats coming up and so if you can be involved in that please do. Um, I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on that stuff today because we have had uh, quite the week uh, here in our community and uh, as most of you probably know, I would think, we did have uh, had one church member uh, who was involved and, and was shot in, uh, on, the th on Thursday. Uh, he's okay, and he's still in the med. He's, he's out of the ICU and is in a regular room now, so things are getting better. Uh, so that is a praise there. We also had people who were there uh, and had to, had to get out, and, and the Lord watched over them in that. And so I want to read something to you. This is Psalm 46 says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth should change and though the mountains slip into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains quake at its swelling pride. The world is a fallen place. It is a scary place. It is a place that needs redemption. Uh, it is a place where the only answer to things like this are the gospel and the change that comes about through repenting of your sins and placing your faith in Christ. But it is just a reminder of the things that we have seen uh, over the last few days, those who, who run towards uh, the, the gunfire to protect people and to take care of people. We had some of our members there uh, who were serving uh, in those lines as well. And it is just, it's one of those things that you look at, and it's a reminder that life is short, life is precious, that this world needs redemption, uh, and then all of that, there's God's grace and there's God's mercy. Because when you look in these situations, you're going to find that. You're going to find his grace. You're going to find his mercy. You're going to find his protection. Uh, and so it's just a reminder that he is in control. Uh, even when the world seems chaotic, even when tragedy strikes, he is there uh, and is watching over and is absolutely in charge. So what I want to do now before, uh, before we sing together is I want to pray for our community, pray for those who have been involved, and, and just, just ask the Lord uh, to, to continue to watch over us. Let's pray together. Father, we do pray for all of those involved in the events of this week, especially uh, for those that are part of this body of Christ, Lord. Uh, we, we pray for continued healing. Uh, we thank you for protection for those that, that were there that, that, that got out and uh, for those who went to serve and, and to do their job to help those who were there. Father, we thank you, Lord, for even in the midst of tragedy, this reminder that, that you are in control. Lord, that all things are there to remind us of who you are to, for, so that we will flee to you at all times. Lord, I pray for all the families who are involved. We lift them up. I pray for their churches. Lord, I pray for their, their pastors and deacons and Sunday school teachers and everybody involved, Lord, that you would just use them to bring comfort to those families. Give us opportunities, uh, Lord, to reach out to them as well. So, Father, we pray for our community today. We pray for Collierville and the surrounding areas as, as this has touched so many, so many families, Lord. And we pray that ultimately you would use this to remind people of who you are and how precious life is and, and that they would seek you, Lord. And if they do not know you, that they would use this reminder to realize they need to call on the name of the Lord and be saved. Lord, we, we thank you for our first responders. We thank you for all those that, that serve and protect. And we just, we, I pray that we would never 
take those freedoms for granted, Lord, that we have, and, and we would always appreciate, Lord, that those that you place in those circumstances. We thank you for that. So, Father, we ask you now during this hour as we sing, as we pray, as we respond to your word, that it would be a day where we leave here uh, walking closer to you than when we came. Lord, grow us in our faith today. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning, church family. If you would please stand with me for our first hymn, The Solid Rock. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. community uh, this past week, I want to share a, a portion of, of Psalm 20 with you that is on trusting in the name of the Lord our God. And it says, may the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. May the name of the God of Jacob protect you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and give you support from Zion. May he remember all your offerings and regard with favor your burnt sacrifices. Selah. May he grant you your heart's desire and fulfill all your plans. May we shout for joy over salvation in the name of our God. Set up our banners. May the Lord fulfill all your petitions. Now I know that the Lord saves his anointed and he will answer from his holy heaven with the, <clears throat> with the saving might of his right hand. Here's, here's my favorite part. He says, some trust in chariots and some in horses. But we trust in the name of the Lord our God. What I love about seven is that even though tragedy happens, and even though we have practical things in place you know, to, to help us in life and, and things that are necessary, we know that ultimately God is not taken surprise by any of this. And he's here to heal. He's here to restore, he's here to redeem, and he is our ever-present help in time of need. Thank you, Adam. If everyone would stand once again for our second hymn, Victory in Jesus. Precious. 
sing about victory in Jesus, and we're going to pray in light of the victory that we have in Jesus. Uh, following our prayer today, uh, uh, we're going to let our children's church uh, be dismissed, and so children up through the fourth grade, welcome to join us. Thankful for our children's church teachers, and we'll meet you in the back of the sanctuary following our prayer time together, okay? Well, let's join together in prayer at this time. Father, you are the God of our salvation. Father, we praise your name. It's good for us to gather together, Lord, to worship you and to be reminded of the victory that we have in Jesus. Victory over darkness, victory over sin, a victory in our daily lives. And Father, we praise you for that. I've just been reminded in your word even this morning that you daily bear us up. You daily bear our burdens. You sustain us. And certainly we need that right now in our church, in our community. Uh, we look to you to sustain us by your grace. Father, I pray that you would comfort and continue to strengthen and to heal all who've been directly impacted by what took place this past week. And so we continue to turn our eyes to you in our time of worship. 